I forgot about that. He started choking this nigga. Put that nigga down. <laughs> what you gotta see that again? What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, we're gonna check out WWE announcers who absolutely hated wrestlers on commentary. So, we recently checked out a video of uh, commentators pretty much hyping up and uh showing love to a particular wrestler now we're gonna check out those same commentators hating a particular wrestler and that's always good because you need that you need um commentators to kind of be that that voice for some of the people that's watching at home you know when you have the baby face doing uh, overcoming the odds and they're finally winning after being screwed over so many times by the heel you have the 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 announcer like yes he finally over overcame the obstacles like in uh our recent um like a few months ago at this year's past wrestlemania with michael cole saying you know cody finally finished the story and then you have the heel wrestlers the the wrestlers that do bad things and they cheat to win and they they do awful things to get ahead or maybe attack people injure people and you have those same announcers going in after them we've all seen how much uh um michael cole hates dominic mysterio it's great so we're gonna check that out go back down memory lane man should be a good one appreciate all love support let's get right into this one man is this on Previously, we looked at how wrestling commentators got over wrestlers they liked, but it's just as important for announcers to do the same for those they dislike. Regardless yeah. if it's a face announcer, <laughs> can be a heel, or vice versa. Just like the fans, announcers often pick a side. So today, we'll look at yeah. wrestling commentators' most hated wrestlers. <laughs> Michael Cole initially changed heel in 2010, so he could take shots at Daniel Bryan and NXT. Cole was so unbearable, he became a featured character on the show. Yeah. He continued to badmouth Bryan. This guy is an absolute tool. He's a loose Josh and all your internet geeks. Daniel Bryan is all <laughs> He's wrestled in a high school gym in front of Whoa, 50 look people. At that. Okay, he was impressive there. But you let the rest of these internet guys tweeting and tweeting. <laughs> a 10-year veteran of the minor leagues. You do a great, Daniel. Stick out your tongue at me. That'll get you a long way. What my dad always told me is <laughs> oh nothing. Oh my gosh, enough, enough, <laughs> enough. Bro, Michael Cole. Michael Cole was unbearable. Like that, oh, there was many a times where I was like, man. I'm about to change this channel because I can't take this. It's not even good heel heat. Just get him off my screen. I don't want to hear this guy no more. <laughs> You've got Vince McMahon in your ear mm -hmm. telling you all the time to tell these people that yeah. I don't have it. Yeah, and I do. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> this was a cool moment, though. <laughs> This is so, but I will say, even though Michael Cole was unbearable, when he got his comeuppance in certain situations, you love to see it. So it, it, once again, even though it was borderline a few times, I, I just wanted to change the damn channel because I just couldn't bear to hear the, the fucking bullshit that he was, you know, forced to spit through Vince McMahon uh, in his ear, but man. When he got his come up and it was it was great. JR was another major target for Cole. JR is like to you. Tell Cole. JR, he's like you. He has no personality. What? Michael had replaced Jim as WWE <laughs> lead announcer, so it was a natural feud that also featured Jerry Lawler. Yeah, we see you. Unfortunately, we can hear you. However, the company completely ran this program into the ground. Yeah, they overdid it. And the pathetic lines he was fed to say by Vince McMahon. Yeah. In here so this, this fat tub of goo doesn't do any cheating in this event. Uh. You know what, JR? I'm better than you. I'm the voice of this show, not a fat tub of goo. And I made JR eat his own barbecue sauce. I hope he throws up in the back because that's what I do every time I eat that garbage. This oh my god, this was unbearable. <laughs> it wasn't as what Vince thought it was. It had its moments, but they overdid it. And it, it was like, yo, what the fuck is this? <laughs> this is that one example that actually made the show worse instead of better. Yeah. <laughs> 
as a babyface, Cole's biggest enemy has been Dominic Mysterio. Back in 2005, Michael fully supported Rey Mysterio in the quest to gain custody for Dom. So I remember this. His father in so good. Cole was furious and would only become more enraged yep. the longer Dom was a heel. Somebody should smack that kid across the face. He's not a kid, he's a grown man who makes grown man decisions. Yes. You gotta be kidding me. Oh. You guys let this kid get out of control. This kid is an absolute piece of what? shit. You <laughs> <laughs> He didn't get him in enough time because Michael Cole himself stopped himself. He really, he basically said it. He just didn't get in enough time. He is a piece of shit, though. <laughs> Trashy ass Dom has some issues. <laughs> he his Did you see some of those tweets that Finn Balor was sending out? We hope you're dehydrated. That's really nice. Oh, okay. Oh, what a uh, punk. Wow. He <laughs> hears you. Oh, and a cheap shot by Mysterio. What is that? What is that? What is that? You shouldn't even be out here. Wild. Take a bat. And now they're taking out Dominic Mysterio. Take him out, guys. Take him out, guys. Take him out. <laughs> <laughs> Not this is good. He's over to take him out, guys. Take him out, guys. Just stomping him out. Fucking love it. <laughs> Dominic get beat down. Dominic, you're a freaking moron. <laughs> that might be the most spectacular. Dominic, you sorry two-time son of a bitch. <laughs> Champion Liv Morgan and her two-timing inconsiderate boyfriend, Dominic Mysterio. <laughs> Fucking love it, bro. Well, it's funny that Dominic's got a skeleton <laughs> Oh my god, this is good. It's like for the Miz on SmackDown, but 06 and 07 might be the hardest any announcer has ever gone in on a wrestler. He's got some athleticism. He really does. He does. Compared to what, a drunk oh. elephant? He did have a match, but he's 1-0. Same thing. He's one and oh. The guy looks like the modern day Red Rooster. Jerry Briscoe is rolling over in his grave and Jerry's not even dead. Bro, yeah, JBL was cooking this nigga, bro. He didn't. Oh my, he was cooking him, bro. Welcome to Miz TV. Hoorah! I'm in hell. Bradshaw's <laughs> infamous high raids on the reality TV star were brutal. He is insane. There's something wrong with that man, Boogeyman. Miz is just an idiot. <laughs> Miz looks a Miz looks like you in a brothel, scared to damn death. This is your reality television. Welcome to Armageddon, jackass. Leave my company. Bro, he was really going in on the Miz, bro. He didn't like that nigga, bro. <laughs> hey, man, JBO would have to see me, bro. You want to see me? Hey, keep on talking that shit, bro. You getting a little bit, you getting a little bit too personal, man. You enjoying this a little bit too much. Hold on, what you say to me? I'm gonna fuck about your damn clothes line. Meet me outside. <laughs> hard since Layfield was the heel announcer who vehemently yeah. stuck up for the bad guys on the show. The of Miz course, of course. An annoying heel that JBL, the wrestling god, and one of the most ruthless villains of all time, couldn't stand him. I'd rather have a root canal than sit here and watch me as the wrestling gods must hate me. <laughs> all professional wrestling aside, I personally hate him. I wish he was gone soon. I hate him. Bro, that's, that's the thing. I don't think he was fed those lines. I He's a heel announcer hating on another heel character you rarely see that <laughs> yeah perhaps he should find a way to end his life that would make me happy i yo i didn't know he said that that's fuck once again this is a different time period y'all but that's fucking why you understand why the Miz had a chip on his shoulder coming in the WWE because it wasn't just him. It was a lot of other people that <laughs> they bullied, hazed him, whatever. They wanted him out. They were going to do whatever they could to make this nigga leave the company. So. Still didn't like him then. Miz, I hate you. I hope your Christmas is terrible. The Miz wasn't alone, though, as MVP was another heel who JBL wasn't a fan of. Bradshaw yeah. wasn't impressed with MVP following his debut. Even the babyfaces didn't get as much flack from Layfield as MVP and Miz did. Yeah. It's like a Bud Light can stole that outfit from a damn Power Ranger, and he walks around strutting in a ring that I've blood, sweat, and busted my ass 
this in. Does that outfit have batteries or a long extension cord? I never understood that either. Why he was just going in on on him too? It's like they literally just whoever you don't like, just shit on them. <laughs> find out what is he doing? I never had so much as a sparkler in the entrance. I didn't have to. Michael. <laughs> However, Layfield <laughs> reluctantly warmed up to MVP after he bought JBL dinner. Look, I don't really like it, but I gotta give him some credit. He bought my meal, okay? He's not such a bad guy. As a He's manager, not such Bobby a bad Heenan guy. Wrestlers had to contend with Hulk Hogan being the top guy in WWF for years on end. This meant no one was more tired of the Hulkster than the brain. You're the one that for three years as world champion used this man. They gave him a trophy, but no, that wasn't good enough. It was a littler trophy than yours, but you had to walk out and steal that moment. You're so jealous of this man, you can't stand it. Did you ever once, once in your life, offer him a championship match? How can you deny the Hulkster a chance to become five times champion? Because he's had it four times. <laughs> You're a man with a whole lot of pride. You're not going to take the money. Well, you should have taken the money. We knew you were dumb, but we didn't know you were this dumb. <laughs> when he's done with Hogan, he's going to be left like an old newspaper lining the bottom of a birdcage. Big poster here, Hulk rules. You know what this should say? Hulk's a fool. That's what that should say. <laughs> you you want to compare the man that wears this belt to Hulk Hogan? That would be like comparing ice cream to horse manure. I don't care about you. I can't stand you. Matter of fact, I hate you. So when he made the jump to commentary, he remained Hogan's number one hater. The WWF champion's kicking my butt. Help me. Hogan reaching for the tag. Here it is. And... Oh. He's pulling his hair out. He's pulling the hair of Hogan out. That shouldn't take long. Yeah, Mr. Hogan, it is wonderful to have you back. Is, and speaking on behalf of all the fans <laughs> worldwide, Ric Flair and Hollywood Hogan. Ric Flair can become the. You want to turn around here and listen to us here? Ric Flair can no. become the world. No. Champion. The business in this sport has has grown because of people like me and the rest of the people in this sport. Not you, Hogan. I, wear the, I, I can wear this the rest of my life, knowing Hulk Hogan's suffering, <laughs> knowing he's in pain and suffering. That's all. <laughs> That's some ultimate hate. I can wear a neck brace for the rest of my life, but as long as Hulk Hogan is suffering, I'm okay. <laughs> Wrestling has been predicated on hate a lot of times. It's brought out some of the best matches and the best characters, best promos. I fucking love it. Oh, I care about it. It turned out that Bobby was right about Hulk all along. When Hogan finally turned heel, the brain spotted it first. I have a funny feeling who that third man's gonna be. All right, tell us. Take your headset off, I'll tell you. Boy, would that be big or what? Watch, I could be right about this. Yeah, but whose side is he on? What have so I been saying the all these years? Oh. Oh, what have I been saying all these years? <laughs> I never thought I'd see people throwing debris at Hulk Hogan. At Hulk Hogan. I knew it should have been done a long time ago. <laughs> Never catch a break from Corey Graves. Oh. Entire subculture in London. They call him Chav. They're the worst kind of people. Graves absolutely despised Enzo. And given some of their interactions outside the ring, it's possible there is some real beef there. Mm -hmm. And he's proud to be champion. He should just be proud not to be in prison. <laughs> I've had root canals I've enjoyed more than this. <laughs> how am I doing, Enzo? You don't need to know how I'm doing, nor anybody else in the WWE universe. Enzo might be the only guy less liked in England than Pierce Morgan. So this is what Enzo gets for having zero redeeming qualities as a human being and being the most disliked man in the Cruiserweight division. <laughs> On Raw, Corey once made... Here's the thing. He, it, it, some of that he was probably saying, obviously other people were feeling that way backstage he had a lot of backstage heat with people and people didn't like him so reference to the incident where amore tipped a stripper with only a few dollars well, i wonder if these two are friends because big show picks up the tab i understand enzo is not a great tipper Elias oh wow Andre's hit list where Corey would have a go at the drifter's appearance while being tired of his weekly performances so we've been here for four and a half hours and he's still just taking his time what? let's get the match underway elias <laughs> oh my god He's got a wife and kids in Baltimore, Jack. If Elias has kids, I bet they have hooves. Pretty telling what? that Elias got booed out of Toronto. I mean, this is a country that gave us Nickelback and some 41. We want to <laughs> with Elias! 
This is like all of my nightmares come true at once. Can I just ask you why Elias always asks who wants to walk with him from a seated position? <laughs> <laughs> I should feel very, very confident behind this plexiglass. I mean, that's how he grew up talking to his father. What? <laughs> Corey Gray. <laughs> This is the acquisition. I was walking down Riverwalk last night in San Antonio, saw a guy laying on the ground playing guitar, I gave him 50 bucks just for not being Elias Sampson. Look at you. Every word uttered from Corey Graves' stupid face is noise pollution. <laughs> he, said, he came back. Ladies and gentlemen, Elias. <laughs> he the beard off. God the dang it. Royal commentary in 2017 is oh, remembered for his of Jason Jordan. Look at the nerves. I can see the nerves written all over this kid. What nerves? <laughs> Fucker, he looks confident. The other, this Jordan kid, he don't want to respect this bitch. He don't respect anyone in it. Come on, Corey. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> the, 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 to the, name. the Rock used to say something all the time. I know you roll and shut your mouth. Damn. You need to know his role. <laughs> Especially when it came to Raw's GM, Kurt Angle showing favoritism towards Jordan, Angle's kayfabe son at the time. Earn your opportunity. Don't just get it, you know what I mean? You earn the opportunity. You know, don't just Jason Jordan your way up to the top. Not Jason Jordan your way. Kurt Angle, this young man's dad, he would be in this position right now. But wait a minute, for Booker, a Booker. It's called favoritism. We're talking about the ballot. I didn't know he hated Jason Jordan like that on commentary. I don't remember that. <laughs> Book would flip flop on how he felt about Jordan each week, but more often than not, Book let Jason have it. Come on, get in there, Jordan. Jordan kicks out at two. That was a mistake right there, Jordan. You should not leave your part. You got five seconds. Has he tagged in yet? No, he had. Okay, but he should have. With a kick right to the back of the neck. But by Booker logic, he's still at fault somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Lifetime WCW champion look for any reason to hilariously criticize Jordan. Get to the back of the line, kid. <laughs> you gotta back your partner. I don't blame Seth Rollins for that, but this kid, this kid need to learn How can something. Blame man. anyone. This is oh, that's a bad decision, man. Why is that a bad this decision? Kid is, this kid is not ready for something like that. You're going to crumble. <laughs> Who better to stand by your side? You didn't say anything about Jason Jordan outside running all around using illegal tactics. You didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> now you want to say something. Guys, I, I admire Jason Jordan's passion to swim in the deep end. <laughs> Jerry the King Lawler liked to rag on wrestlers such as Goldust. King spared no expense when it came to giving insults to the bizarre one. It's girls like you that turn men into, well, people like Goldust. Oh! Then you put on a woman's wig and you went around the ring kissing men like a flaming... Well, oh! What am I? You might want to uh, be right back. Where? <laughs> no. Jerry even threw shade at Golda's infant daughter to come. What is. What? Did I just what? Hold up. This is no place for little brats like that. Oh, she's sweet. Look at this. Yeah, they really hit the jerk hunt with her, didn't they? What? She is beautiful. Yeah, she's very special. I'm sure someday she'll go to a very special Hello. school. What did you oh. name that brat? Dakota? You should have named her Target. Because I heard everybody in Atlanta had a shot at it. Mankind was interested on the receiving end of Lawless Jabs. What about that mug, McMahon? Woo! I heard he tried to enter an ugly contest. They said, sorry, no professionals. And he was born. <laughs> his mother took one look at his rear end and one look at his face. And she said, my God, Siamese twin. <laughs> this is Foley's baby boy. Oh, please. Oh. You look into <laughs> Mankind's eyes, you see the back of his head. That head that's banned from all... He used to definitely go in on Mankind for sure. <laughs> Walmart. Mankind gave Al Snow head last Thursday night on SmackDown. What? He did what? What? I know the name of a good veterinarian you can take Mankind to. What? Be up to the rock to lay the SmackDown on my candy ass. This guy's an idiot. <laughs> no. Sock off. ECW talent got it quite bad from King. Morons, especially these idiots that mm -hmm. are filling up the area. Talk about how great ECW is. Big deal. They run in a bingo hall. When I drove to the neighborhood and I saw people with toilet paper hanging out on the lines of dry, I knew I was in Philadelphia. Sandman, you want to cane somebody? You ought to be caning somebody at the Betty Ford Clinic. 
you dope addict. You know what ECW stands for? It stands for exposing crappy wrestlers. And that's what I'm doing. ECW stands for extremely crappy wrestling. The ECW. Extremely crappy wrestling. Jerry referred to the promotion as extremely crappy wrestling. A single in particular, who Lawler would lay a feud with in the WWF. This guy's so small he probably buys an ant farm for a second home. <laughs> I forgot about that. He started choking this nigga. Put that nigga down. <laughs> what you gotta see that again? We gotta see that again. Bro, he started choking. Taz didn't know what was happening. Taz, who does he think he is? He looks a lot bigger on the Lucky Charms box, you know, McMahon? Fool! 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 This tall to get on the rides at Disney World? Oh, sorry, that's it. It's a little close to home, doesn't it, Taz? Now I got more wrestling ability in one of my farts than you got in your entire body. Well, you understand that? King had no love for ECW or Japan, with Japanese star Takamichi Noku being called stuff that certainly wouldn't fly today. Mm -hmm. A woman gives birth to a baby every four seconds. Now I'm gonna go over there and find that woman, put a stop to it, and we won't have people like this coming into our country. I can look like one of those kamikaze pilots flying through the air there. Hey, Brian, you know what you call a Japanese wrestler with a title belt? What's that? A thief. <laughs> he stole it from Brian. Yeah, he did. Look at Takamichinoku. If he loses another pound, we'll have to file a missing persons report. Chinese guy Takamichinoku. Different time, y'all. Japanese. Well, can we see him get thrown out by boss man one more time? But no one got it worse from Lawler than the old folks. Mm -hmm. He made fun of people such as Stu and Helen Hart. Helen's wearing some beautiful antique jewelry. She got it when it was new. Helen here? I think so. I heard she went shopping today, went in an antique store, and they kept her. <laughs> Stu and Helen Hart produced more tragedies than Shakespeare. And meet the couple that produced more tragedies than Shakespeare. I've never seen anything like it. I'll bet when you two were young, the Dead Sea was only sick. Is that true? Oh, what? How old are you anyway? The number one movie that's out in the nation right now. It, it's starring Stu and Helen Hart's grandchildren. 12 monkeys? Well, Stu and what? Helen. I wouldn't believe them if their tongues were notarized. The other day, I told Stu to act his age so he died. <laughs> wow. Uh, Natalia's grandparents, Stu and Helen Hart. I got off on the wrong foot with them when I asked them how it was working on the pyramids. Not to mention the legendary Mae Young and the fabulous Moolah, both of whom King showed no <laughs> mercy towards. He Stuff definitely like did. happens to him every time they go to a big match like this. You should have seen what happened to him when they went to see the Christian versus the Lions. Oh. What? I think wrote another book before this. I think it was called the Old Testament. Or at least I know she's got an autographed copy of the Bible. Hey, at least she can write. Quit calling her Mae Young. She's so old. When David killed Goliath, she called the cops. They're old the What? Grandma. Because grandma, these women started wrestling when the Dead Sea was only six. 77 years young. 77 years. Come on. If she said a real age, you'd, you'd think it was her phone number. <laughs> what the fuck? 2003 was a rough year for Jim Ross. He was constantly oh, messed with by more GM Eric Bischoff. Oh, yeah. We come to my favorite one. And Jim Ross hatred for Eric Bischoff. Chef's kiss. Some of my favorite commentary in wrestling history. Let's go. Of forcing JR to lash out multiple times. And he's coming out to congratulate him. This match was his idea. Bischoff, the boil of the ass of life. Bischoff is kind of like our version of Saddam Hussein. A power hungry dictator. Now, Bischoff is a South Texas jackass. He's not even from South Texas. I'd like to see Bischoff. Yes! Get every bone in his body broken. Since yes! Was so beloved by fans, Eric got tons of heat for mistreating Jim. Eric Bischoff is a no, no good, good. lousy son, son of, of a, a bitch. bitch. Hey, hey. You are one lousy son of a bitch. Oh, no. And you can take this job and, and shove it. <laughs> I'm going to sue your ass, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. That clip will never not be funny. Choke slap the son of a bitch. Do it. Choke slap him. 
Oh, oh, this brought joy to my, my day. With Kane in 03. Oh my God! Is that a human? After unmasking and turning heel, the Big Red Machine yep. set the Oklahoman on fire. Set my big ass on fire! <laughs> As a result, Jim tore Kane down on commentary every yep. day. That hideous freak <laughs> Kane! That sick hideous <laughs> There it is! That is one sick son of a bitch, let me tell you. This was the closest Ross was going to get to any form of revenge, so he made sure to verbally destroy the seven-foot monster. Vince McMahon. Oh, yeah. In real life, Vince got his sick and twisted kicks yeah. from screwing with Ross on screen. Also, because gym segments were ratings draws, plus the fans would always be behind him no matter what. That said, it was always great to see JR get his own back on the evil chairman. It's me, Austin! Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> son of a bitch! Yeah. Son of a bitch! I don't believe this! I don't believe One sick, perverse son of a bitch! You have that bullshit! Here's my language! <laughs> Triple H over as a sadistic heel. Jim regularly condemned the game's actions and wasn't shy in throwing personal digs. Mm -hmm. In all of the things that Ric Flair represents, I am today. That's debatable. That's debatable. <laughs> Two men's on screen rivalry lasted for years, and the fans were always on the side of the, <laughs> the black hat, but it was still incredible. Triple Bo, Triple H didn't give no fucks. <laughs> JR didn't deserve that shit. Incredibly entertaining to see JR bash the game. Yep. Labeling Hunter as an S. <laughs> I bet you're a sorry, low down S O B. Oh. Great, bro. I am reality. He's a son of a bitch, if you ask me. Yeah. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check Woo! out our similar. This was good, bro. Woo. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a like because it deserves it. Hey, <laughs> this was great. This brought back so many memories. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Comment down below. Let me know your favorite moment where an announcer just went off on a heel he had it it was some a, a lot of great ones y'all already know there's some, plenty of them from jr just man great times but i appreciate our love sport road to 150k appreciate y'all kicking it with me see y'all next one peace